Hello, everyone, and welcome to our spiritual communion for this Saturday, the 16th of May, in this fifth week of our Easter season. Today, I'm speaking to you from our beautiful little church uh, out on Lord Howe Island. Uh, some years ago, the parish assumed the responsibility uh, for the um, church on Lord Howe Island. And so the little church that you see there was built here in Port Macquarie and then shipped out to the island and a number of trades people went out and erected the church and has been there ever since. And so today I'd like just to give a shout out to all those on the island, um, especially those who look after our church and minister to those on the island. So uh, to everyone out there on the island, we're thinking of you and praying for you during this time. So we begin our spiritual communion in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The gospel today comes from the gospel according to John, chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. This Gospel today highlights for us that when Jesus began his ministry and indeed since his birth, his life has always been under threat. And in John's gospel, which we're reading from, the cleansing of the temple is right at the beginning of Jesus' ministry. And so every time Jesus goes to Jerusalem, the temple authorities are out to get him. And so Jesus knows that at some point his time will come. Hence the saying at different times from Jesus, my time has not yet come, like he does at the wedding feast of Cana. So Jesus knows that persecution is ahead of him. John the Baptist already knows what that's like. He's already been tortured and killed. John the Baptist has already paid the price for proclaiming Jesus. We also need to keep in mind that as followers of Jesus, we have always lived under constant threat ourselves down through all the centuries. Looking back at biblical times, the stoning of Stephen and the torture of Paul are just two examples of the dangers from the Jews and from others who set themselves against Christianity. To this day, as we know, in many parts of our world and even in our own, there is hatred for all things Christian. To this day, there is still persecution for being and proclaiming yourself as a Christian. 
And that's what is mentioned here in the gospel. Jesus is saying that it's part of being Christian, that at times we will experience this persecution. So for our prayer today, we might reflect on two things. Firstly, we might reflect and ask ourselves, what can I do to support those in our world who are being persecuted simply for proclaiming Christ as Lord? And secondly, what do we need to do to have the courage in our time now to proclaim that same proclamation that Christ is Lord? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining for us for our spiritual communion today here on lovely Lord Howe Island. Uh, again, all the very best to those on the island uh, during this time. We're thinking of you and praying for you, as I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go out to the island, please make a visit to our church. Uh, we'd, I'd love to sort of see our visitors and have some time with you. And again, as I've said, each of the end of these slides, there's the information how we can contact us if you need help in any way, shape or form. And again, as I've said, please stay safe and God bless. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you on Monday. God bless. Mm -hmm.